Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We are gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. This is Taurus versus Leo. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me about how Leo is currently feeling. And then we're gonna take a look at how Leo feels about Taurus. Spirit, talk to me about What's going on with Leo? What's going on with Leo right now? All right, so we have the Three of Swords energy coming out here for Leo, all right? There could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius that's involved. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. We also have the Four of Wands coming out here. That is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the Three of Swords right next to the Four of Wands, there seems to be some sort of issue that has to do with the home, okay? So either Leo's having issues in their home or there's something about relocation here. There's unsatisfaction domestically is what I'm getting here. Tell me more about what Leo is going through. We have somebody that Leo feels is demanding or that is trying to get in between something or get in the way. We have someone that's very authoritative here towards Leo is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like this energy over here is someone that is just laying the rules down or uh, this could be a boss figure. This is someone here who seems to be in a position of power with the Queen of Swords energy coming out here. This individual could also uh, be harsh with their words at times. Okay. Spirit, talk to me about how Leo feels about Taurus. Spirit, how does Leo feel about Taurus? Talk to me about how Leo is currently feeling about Taurus. The high priestess, there's something very private about Taurus's energy. There's a lot of mystery. So I feel like Leo could be trying to figure Taurus out right now. Talk to me about the high priestess. The Ace of Swords energy. I feel like Leo is in this energy of thinking that Taurus is not going to put up with something. All right. So there's something that Taurus no longer wants to put up with. Tell me more about how Leo feels about Taurus. Yeah. So Leo feels that Taurus could be starting some of the drama or could be initiating some type of issue here, okay? It has to do with a home, okay? Please keep in mind that these readings are specifically for individuals that are dealing with a Taurus, right? If you're not dealing with a Taurus, this may not resonate for you, okay? If it does, that's cool, right? Metaphorically speaking, then you'll pick up on what's for you. But I feel like, you know, this is specifically for a Taurus involved with a Leo. There's drama at home, okay? There's also this energy of Leo being very attentive to what Taurus is up to with the Page of Swords coming out here, Knight of Wands. So Leo is still very much attracted to Taurus with that Knight of Wands energy coming out there. Um, there could be secrets here. There's issues at home. And if you haven't seen the general message that I put up for Taurus, you know, the same cards are coming out here. And in that general reading, I was talking about how there's someone around Taurus that's having issues at home, if it's not Taurus themselves, right? Because energies are vice versa.
but there's an issue with someone being uncomfortable at home, okay? Hmm. Spirit, talk to me about how Taurus is feeling about Leo. How is Taurus feeling about Leo? Talk to me about how Taurus is feeling in reference to Leo. Taurus feels the need to just like protect themselves. Like, you know, there's something about Taurus's energy where it's not giving. It's not giving at this time. Taurus is holding back. Uh, Taurus is very restricted. There's boundaries in place here. Um, there is this need to keep something to themselves. So I see Taurus doing that. Tell me more. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. That is Taurus energy. I feel like Taurus is turning their back on something here. Okay, that Queen of Pentacles is facing the Four of Pentacles. Taurus seems to be very career focused at this time. Um, and there also seems to be like new beginnings over here, okay? Tell me more about how Taurus is feeling about Leo. How is Taurus feeling about Leo? I feel that Taurus will be supportive to Leo. I mean, um, there's still going to be a conversation. There's still going to be communication, but it's not anything serious right now. Like if... Uh, you're looking for something serious with a Leo, or if Leo is looking for something serious with Taurus, that's not what is on Taurus's mind right now. However, Taurus will communicate with you, will speak to you. Taurus will actually be nice to you, Leo. <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. You know, good vibes. I don't feel romantic vibes, though. Tell me more. Talk to me about... There's distance here between you and this Taurus, okay? So I feel like things are not how they used to be. Yeah, the chariot's coming out here. So Taurus is either traveling, relocating, or moving on. And it's very quickly because the chariot is a fast-moving energy. Tell me more about how Taurus is feeling. The strength card, yeah. There's something that Taurus will not put up with any longer with the strength card being present there. So I'm just getting that Taurus wants to maintain some level of boundary here between Leo and them. Spirit, talk to me about, yeah, look, it's, it's all about finances and work right now. For Taurus, that's what Taurus wants to focus on. The Eight of Pentacles. What's the outcome of this situation? Spirit, what is the outcome of Taurus and Leo here? What's the outcome for Taurus and Leo? It's ending. It seems like something is going to be over between the both of you. Okay? Tell me more about that. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords for the outcome. Yeah, you know, I feel like Leo really wants to work things out with Taurus. I feel that Taurus will communicate with Leo. Taurus will be nice to Leo. But um, Taurus is very skeptical about something that's going on over here on Leo's side. And I feel like Taurus feels that Leo is having some sort of issue at home or where they live. Something about relocation, having to move. Okay, something is disappointing on that end. All right, that's what I have for Taurus versus Leo. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.